Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number nine and question number ten. In question number nine, a grandfather is ten times older than his granddaughter. He is also fifty-four years older than her. Find their present age. In this question, there are two persons. One is grandfather, and another is granddaughter. In the first statement, it is given that grandfather is ten times older than his granddaughter. Means, if the age of granddaughter is x years, so the grandfather age must be ten times of what is granddaughter's age. So the grandfather must be ten years, ten x years old. In the second case, it is given that. He is also 54 years older than her. Means this person should be 54 years more than this, or you can say the difference between their age must be 54 years. So the difference between them is 10x minus x, which is equals to 54 years. This is 9x equals to 54 years. Shows so x must be equals to 6. So the age of granddaughter is six years because x is equal to six, and age of grandfather must be sixty years because his age is ten x and x is equal to sixty. Putting this is equal to six, so ten into six is equal to sixty. In question number ten, a man's age is three times his son's age. Ten years ago, he was five times his son's age. Find their present age. So uh, let Their present age B. Uh, let's suppose a man's age and his uh, son's age. In the first statement, it is given that a man's age is three times his son's age. Means if son age is son's age is X years, so a man's age must be three times of his son's age. Which equals to three x. In the second statement, it is given that ten years ago means ten years ago their age must be equal to he must be ten years less and he also be ten years younger. And in ten years ago. He was five times his son's age. It is given that, according to to the question, ten years ago, father age is five times his son's age. So, if we want to equate the their ages, we have to multiply son age by five. Means we have to make son age five times so that it must be equal to the age of the father. So solving this equals to 50. Uh, shifting this variable to this side and this constant to this side, it will give uh, 50 minus 10 and 5x minus 3x. Because this negative will give positive 50, and this positive will give negative 3x. So this is 40, and this is 2x. So x equals to 20. So the son's age must be 20 years because x is x is equal to 20 and father's age must be 60 years. Thank you.